All right. And thank you guys for having us on. I guess I'll go through and talk about our products, give some details of our products, and then I'm going to hand it over to Vanessa. Uh, but with that in mind, let me go ahead and share my screen here. And I'm going to go back and forth between a presentation and uh, kind of showing the uh, the equipment that I'm using right now. Because talking, I am using some of the uh, not only video bars, but cameras as well as uh, speakers within my home office setup because I'm still working from home as we're kind of sheltered in place over here in California. Uh, but with that in mind, let me go ahead and go through our slideshow because uh, what I plan to do is kind of show you why AVER is a, a great solution to not only implement for your hybrid work solutions, but also to implement AI for your collaboration hubs that you may be connecting to. So with that in mind, you know, we do supply uh, solutions, not only for cameras, video bars, uh, speaker phones, for huddle all the way up to really large conference rooms. And so I'm going to give everybody a really fast introduction to all the types of cameras that we have and go over, you know, not only from the uh, the little guys, but to the, to the big cameras. So the first one I'm going to talk about is our Aver Cam 130. We came out with this a couple of months back. And this is a great little camera that has a really wide field of, uh, field of view uh, to capture uh, a large uh, room. Uh, not only does it have a differentiator of having like a built-in light, it's one that I'm kind of using right now off to the side. Uh, so it's perfect for home office solutions where not only do you want to illuminate your face and kind of get everything working correctly in that aspect, but, uh, it really helps with uh, being mobile and being able to take that on the go. Now, all of our products are certified to work with not only Microsoft Teams, but uh, uh, Zoom as well as Barco ClickShare. Uh, but one of the big ones I'm really excited to show everyone is Aver VB130. Uh, this is a really small form factor video bar that uh, I'm actually using right now. That's the, uh, the, the camera image I'm using right now, as well as the uh, audio uh, microphones that are built. It's got five microphones built into it. Uh, this is small enough to actually sit on my laptop. Uh, it's like I said before, it's a really small form factor. Uh, if you notice on my video, I have this little icon there, which Audio fencing. Now, it uh, audio fencing is the solution to be able to tell the microphones. You know what? Some of the microphones pick up everything that's within this field of view. Uh, everything that's outside of that field of view negate the audio. So, if a dog was barking in the far end, a baby was crying, if somebody was yelling at me from way over there, uh, you wouldn't hear it. So, to give you an example of it, if I were to count, if I were to go one, two, three. eight, nine, 10, you should have heard me cut out a little bit there as I come back. Now, like I mentioned before, this lens in this video bar has a wide field of view, but I got it set up on that audio fence to kind of uh, only go with a, a small a small view. So if I were to go into this uh, VV-130, and go into the settings of it. And if I turn off that audio fence, you'll notice that the uh, the image on there, sorry, that's, a, that's another image, <laughs> but the image goes really wide uh, within, within the view. So for that, uh, for this VB130, as well as this Cam 130 that we have, the, uh, the, the field of view on there is really meant for uh, not only showing multiple participants, if it was a huddle room or a, or a small conference room, but has the capability to narrow it down if you don't want to show too much of the edges and kind of only show, uh, kind of only show, uh, you know, a small 90 degree view of the, the image that's being sent to, uh, sent to the far end. Now with this video bar, all the settings and all the functionality within it Let's just say if I wanted to turn on the auto framing in which it's going to kind of look for not only a face, but a body and frame it up automatically. Uh, everything is kept within the firmware of the video bar itself. So I could set it, program it, move it to a conference room, set it there, and then forget about it and not have to worry about other software kind of doing that 
uh, framing for me. But the good thing about all of our framing options with this video bar is that it does uh, a little bit of tracking with it as well. So if I were to get up and move around, and let's just say there is a whiteboard, it will follow me and I'll be able to write on the whiteboard, do certain things, come back and sit down and the frame will kind of just reset to me. If somebody else were to come into the conference room, uh, it will actually move to an automatic framing mode. So it's not a pure tracking camera per se, like some of our other ones that we have, um, but it allows for, uh, or it's designed for conference rooms. So automatic framing kind of kicks in as soon as multiple people come within the conference room. Now we do have audio tracking as well with this uh, video bar that we have. So as I'm talking right now and I move around and let's just say I, you know, somebody was sitting right over here and I started talking, the microphones would triangulate on my voice and kind of move with me as I move around. So again, a lot of strong functionality with this video bar in itself. Um, but uh, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and turn off kind of all the modes. Um, I'm going to leave it on right now with the the depth of field mode for uh, you know for a cleaner picture, I guess I could say. Uh, and then I'm gonna go back to uh, the PowerPoint presentation to kind of show you guys uh, right now, you know, some of our more uh, advanced solutions. So, uh, you know, we do have cameras that are built out for medium conference rooms to large conference rooms. And so the the Aver VC520 is a strong solution to have uh, an 18 times total zoom optical lens camera that is really sharp, really great picture that could zoom into about, well, let's say about 60 feet away. So if I have a really large boardroom and the end of the table is about 60 feet away, perfect solution right here. But this one also comes with the speaker phone that connects up to the camera with an RJ45 network cable. And so you could go from speaker phone to camera with a network cable and then from the camera to your PC with a single USB connection for a really simplistic install. Now, those speaker phones can daisy chain up to three different ones to have a room coverage, uh, or I should say each speaker phone can get up to a 15 foot radius. So if I were to change my video and kind of show you uh, how that, uh, that camera works, uh, in my living room at the other edge of the table, I'm about 10 feet away from it. Uh, that camera is kind of fixated on me. Now I'm going to move my audio uh, to that speakerphone. I got the microphone selected with it right now. It might hear me a little bit different. But let me change my speaker. And uh, so right now I'm on that, uh, that solution. Let me kind of show you with the, um, with the camera what that speaker looks like. And so if you'll notice, it's a single cable that just goes up to the camera. And with this, uh, this mode that I have on it, if you notice the little icon there, I'm on the automatic tracking mode, just like with the video bar and just like we have with our smaller Cam 130. All of them share the same chipset uh, to be able to do our automatic framing options. And so as I move around and I talk within a conference room, whether it's a large conference room or a small conference room, uh, this camera will be able to not only follow me, track me a bit, but then also frame it up if multiple participants were in the room. Now, just to give you guys a little example, I'm going to uh, turn off the framing mode on it. I'm gonna use the remote control this time. You could use a control panel, you could use the web interface because it's got a LAN ethernet port on it, uh, but I'm gonna put it onto the just uh, regular, uh, framing modes. Now, one thing I want to do is kind of show you how smooth it is while you move around. And well, I want to show off my living room that my wife uh, decorated because she does a great job at it, but kind of want to just zoom in uh, on the pillow to show you how far the zooming option goes and how smooth it is. Because once it gets past the 12 times optical zoom, it kind of does a little digital zoom to give you an 18 times total zoom. The preset recalls are really nice and really smooth with it. Overall, just a really great solution for that $13.99 price point. So with that in mind, I am going to kind of hit send it over to uh, Vanessa and let her finish it up with, uh, you know, why you guys can uh, start thinking about uh, and why choose Aver. So go ahead, Vanessa, take it away.
Thank you, Carl, for the demos. And for those who missed my introduction, my name is Vanessa Grimaldo, and I am the Senior General Account Manager at Ava Information. And I just kind of wanted to close off this presentation with a quick why Ava. And the first point being is that we really do pride ourselves in the quality of our products. As you have just seen, we do provide a variety of the smoothest PTZ, easy plug and play uh, video conferencing cameras with advanced AI features, um, perfectly suitable for all kinds of rooms from work from home to the medium to large conference rooms. The camera that I'm using right now is the Cam 130. And to back all of that up, all of our cameras are Zoom and Barco certified and all but two are team certified. And those two are soon to be certif team certified in the near future. Um, second uh, reason being a why Aver is that we have one of the best warranties in the industry. We have a three-year warranty with a 72-hour replacement. So we can't quickly fix whatever issue you might be having with your camera. We will make sure to send you a replacement unit within 72 hours. We also have a local support team that is readily available uh, with live chat, phone, or email as well. And the third reason of why Aver is that we also have a demo program. So we're willing to send out a brand new demo unit to all of our clients. <laughs> Sorry, Carl. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I think you're there, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh, we're willing to sh ship out a brand new demo unit to all of our clients. Uh, typically, you know, to me, seeing, seeing the quality is believing. Um, so we typically offer a 30 day evaluation period. Um, if you need more time for evaluation, we can be flexible. You just have to let myself and or your Lightworks rep know, and we will extend that evaluation period for you. And we will also cover all shipping costs. Um, so we will ship out the demo unit with a return label. And at the end of your evaluation period, you will have the option of purchasing it to keep if it fits your needs, or if it doesn't, you can return it back to us with the return label that we provided. If you are interested in any personal live demos as well, such as the ones that um, demo, uh, Carl just uh, provided. I'm happy to do that for you as well. I just got done hooking up all the solutions in my home office. So feel free to reach out to your Lightworks rep and we can get that scheduled. Other than that, that pretty much wraps up our presentation. Any questions yeah. from anybody? Uh, do the smaller USB cameras have privacy? have a privacy slider? They do, they do. Actually, the uh, the video bar and the uh, the Cam 130 itself has a privacy slider that you just kind of flip down, and it uh, it will close out the uh, the image, so nothing will be sent across. I can show you an example. Actually, actually, I'm using the Cam 130 right now, and if I just flip it down, it's completely pitch black. It's um, definitely uh, an important feature for myself since my work from home is in. It is in my bedroom, so I better I, I like to be safe and sorry when it comes to video conferencing. No question about it. I kind of show things. You know, one thing I did not uh, mention or did not uh, kind of uh, go into more detail of is our speakerphone and how well uh, it does work. So to to give a little example, uh, as far as you know, the 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 power of the speakerphone. Um, you know, when I started talking. Uh, with that one, I would say I was about an arm's length away. Now, right now with the speakerphone, I would say I'm about five five feet away from it. And as I continually walk back and walk around my my uh, living room over here, uh, you could probably notice that the sound kind of uh, goes down a little bit and picks up because of the automatic gain functionality with it. So one thing to keep in mind that these speakerphones can actually be used uh, not only as a boundary uh, speakerphone on a table, but they can be mounted on a ceiling as well. So very flexible in the sense of what you could do with them. Uh, and like I mentioned before, with the, the power of this camera, it's pretty much got everything covered from the classroom uh, to not only home office, but uh, medium conference rooms at the large conference rooms. Great. Uh, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I, we just got a bunch of uh, questions on yes. uh, the chat right now. So just kind of wanted to go over that. And the first one um, being any small factor camera that can do tracking. And that, I, I guess that would be the Cam 130. Um, when you say small factor, uh, would that be like a huddle room camera of some sort? Um, that would be the Cam 130 that Carl had um, originally uh, the first slide it was uh, based off of. It can do auto framing based off facial recognition and body profile detection. So it works very seamlessly. 
Um, so it looks like he's setting up setting it up right now to show you guys. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of plug it in just to kind of show you guys how it uh, how it works. If you give me one second here, I'll be able to uh, show you the uh, the Cam 130 and its uh, camera tracking capabilities here. So let me just uh, go through and turn off the um, or turn on the auto framing mode of it. If you could also show how well the um, lighting works in the dark room. Actually, I can probably show that to you right now. Um, let me see here. Let me go ahead and close my um, close my blinds. My blinds are not uh, blackout curtains, but they are dark uh, orange. So just give me a second. Please. All right, so right now I got the Cam 130 set up um, and the uh, the framing motion is gonna kind of uh, kick into play as this is kicking off here. Um, but do you know what, let's go ahead and spotlight Vanessa's first because I think. Uh... Perfect, so let me just, um, oops, share my screen real quick, one second. So you can actually, can everybody see my screen okay? My PTZ app? Yep. Okay, sweet. So on the PTZ app, you can control the temperature level and the brightness level through two buttons on the back of the Cam 130. There's 12 levels for each one, or you could also control it through our PTZ app. Um, so on here, you can control the light color temperature from warmest to coolest and from um, darkest to brightest. So there's a wide range there that you can manually or adjust, or it can also be automatic with the sensor. All right. Now, right now I got the automatic framing kind of turned on a little bit here and it will track me. Remember, this is a fixed lens camera. Um, and so as I move around, it will kind of set me up. I got it in the corner of my laptop here, but, uh, the VB130, the Cam130, those are, um, like I said, basic automatic tracking cameras for conference rooms and or automatic framing cameras. Uh, you could set it up to either be tighter within the framing, a lot looser if you wanted to capture other people walking in uh, and things of that nature. So there are uh, a lot of options for it. Now, we have other professional tracking cameras that could give you segmented tracking, uh, tracking mainly used for like houses of worship, things of that nature. All right. All right. Kind of located within the students, do you have an auto follow feature? Yeah, we have a, we have a, uh, we do have a camera that can do that. Um, uh, and a small range for them in which they set it up on uh, tripods as well as our VB-130, uh, that can be done. And I'm looking at some of these other questions. Uh, Juan, uh, sorry guys. All right. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot more questions coming in now. Uh, is the Cam 130 compatible with Android operating systems? Uh, yes, they are. We have had them work with uh, Android operating systems. Um, and, uh, and just to kind of give you a little sneak peek, we do plan on uh, implementing uh, Android built within this as well. So you can have a full on solution for an appliance mode on the BB 130. Can audio fans cancel noise source that is in the video frame, not in the video frame itself? Um, it would have to be outside that video frame. And you know what, let me change my... People counting does happen. Uh, and we could have uh, the reporting either go back to Microsoft Teams or to Zoom. Uh, currently right now, but uh, when we do our automatic framing and our tracking, we actually implement, uh, we do a people count first uh, before we uh, actually kick off the algorithm for the framing. And the uh, CAM 130 MSRP is $399.99 and the VB 130, which is the long bar with intelligent lighting, that one's $899.99 MSRP. Great. Thank you so much. And 
I had a little technical difficulty here, but would you, were you already able to speak about availability? Um, healthy stock on everything that we have. So we're not, uh, we do not uh, have any issues right now with, uh, with supply.